Number one fangirl is hot! <laughs> hey, be gentle. With the Deadpool vs Wolverine movie right around the corner, I thought it was about time that I played and platinumed this absolute masterpiece of a game. Not knowing what to expect from Deadpool, other than a shit ton of laughs, I pulled up the guide and honestly didn't think it looked too bad. And to be honest, I was fucking kidding myself. I suck and certain parts of the game took me way longer to beat than they should have. Just quickly before we jump into the fourth wall breaking madness, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Any and all support is massively appreciated and I will love your faces forever. Okay, so what's our order of business? Well first, it's just the small task of completing the game on the hardest difficulty, while ticking off any miscellaneous trophies I could along the way. Then I had to earn enough double penetration points, sorry, Deadpool points to unlock all of the characters upgrades and weapon upgrades. And lastly, there were a bunch of challenges that I had to complete in order to get gold medals. So the game begins and Deadpool is chilling in his apartment, scratching his nuts for fun. And for simply standing up out of the chair, we get two trophies. The first one's free, and the second one is also free. Hey, what's that? You guys tracking my every move now? But I haven't even accomplished anything in this game yet. And there's another one. Oh, so it's gonna be one of those games, huh? Easy enough to get the ball rolling, and the next couple weren't too much more difficult, as I had to interact with the stove which makes Deadpool prepare thousands of pancakes for the trophy I'm expecting company. And then, for interacting with 14 different things around the apartment, the last one being eating pizza, we get the trophy, making a game. Yeah, tasted like a cheap outsourced prop. Let me guess, I just ate the leftover pizza from all that developer crutch time, am I right? Ah, you last second schmucks. We then go into the first mission of the game, where we have to make our way into the TV studio and head for the boardroom to try and capture a bounty that Deadpool has the contract for. We miss a number of trophies as we fight through the lobby, learning the combos and then fighting while scaling the outside of the building. We get hold of our bounty and repeatedly beat the crap out of him before riding him like E.T. on a bike out of the window and into the night sky. After landing on a bounty castle we conveniently blew up at the start of the mission, we get the trophy, the house that bounces. Was okay. Well, it's not like we get a do over on this one. The hell, we don't. The next level sees us running through the sewers chasing after a bunch of villains who've just stolen our bounty from us, while Deadpool was busy riding unicorns and shit that you've just seen. Once again we miss a number of trophies as we make our way through this level, so we'll be coming back much later on. We finally catch up to the villains, who have now been joined by another, Mr Sinister. He's the main boss of the game, and he takes no time in showing us just how powerful he is by popping our head off. This is the end of the level and we awaken to the sight of something absolutely beautiful and amazing. The trophy, no chance in heaven. Psylocke? Domino. Boner? Engaged? What are you ex-babes doing here? We then fly off to our next destination along with the ex-babes and Wolverine, but have to do a crash landing which knocks Wolverine out. We are then given the option to slap him to try and wake him up, and this goes on for a while. Like, seriously, ages. Until we get the trophy, let's try one more time. We then make our way through the island of Genosa, fighting all types of enemies as more and more keep coming after us. It's on this island where we meet Cable, and we can press the X button for a little breakdown of who Cable is and this gives us the trophy, Curious About Cable. Then, Cable basically explains the whole plot of the game 
but Deadpool doesn't pay attention, and this is one of the many times where I actually creased out loud. Which all hinges on you, Wade. Now here's the critical part. It's so boring. Damn it, Wade! Once Deadpool comes to, Cable has left him a note telling him the next move, so we continue through the level of Genosa. We come to a huge opening where we have to fight a shit ton of enemies before Cable shoots off back to the future and tells us to stay put and not to do anything stupid. So of course, Deadpool climbs the nearby tower and dishes out some musical you, pain to Mr. Sinister. Only for it to be revealed once Cable returns that it's just a clone. We then end up getting ambushed as we sit inside a sentinel's foot equipped with a turret which of course we put to great use multiple times, especially as it kept flying off by itself. This section was ridiculously hard on the hardest difficulty, but through perseverance we managed to get through it and earned ourselves the trophy. Caribou's shoe. Sure were a lot of expensive setups in that level. Hope Peter's okay with the budget. Budget? Oh, we'll show him budget. This takes us straight into the next level, which is the prison. We begin hanging from the sentinel's foot alongside Rogue, who eventually falls into the one of the side villain's arms, who then dips. Deadpool falls with the foot and wakes to find his head backwards and arm ripped clean off, when a dog comes along and runs off with his arm. The controls are inverted until you get the arm back and we continue through the prison in hopes of rescuing Rogue and getting some sweet loving. While fighting through the enemies within the prison, we pick up our 100th taco which gives us additional momentum during combat and this time the trophy, Taco Saviour. A little bit further into the prison level, Deadpool becomes delirious and believes he's in a club with funky music and endless babes for him to play with, despite one of his personalities realising that it can't be real. For talking with all interactable babes, we get the trophy, Social Butterfly. Towards the end of the prison level, we find ourselves sneaking around and planting explosive devices in order to blow shit up and save Rogue. We momentarily forget about Rogue as we find ourselves in the same room as Mr. Sinister, completely undetected. We sneak up and execute a few of his guards before finally taking out Mr. Sinister for the trophy game over. Got the little bitch this time, didn't we? Pose for the camera, Mr. Silly. Only to then find out through a form of social media that it was yet another Mr. Sinister clone. And it is here we are reminded about Rogue still being in danger. We tag ourselves in at the arena in order to take on Blockbuster. And it is here where we get the trophy game on. Looks like we got here just in the nick of time. So we fight Blockbuster, and because he's a chunky boy, my normal attacks don't seem to work on him and we have to wait until Blockbuster is charging at us, press circle at the right time to do some sort of reversal and then we can blast him in the face, all while also trying to fight off a ton of his goons. Once Blockbuster is defeated, we get to give Rogue some sweet loving, but we all know Rogue's power drains the other person through touch and this leaves Wade unconscious on the floor, but now we got Lady Deadpool. P.S. Please be Blake in the film. We then have to beat a shit ton of enemies using Lady Deadpool, and once we do, we get the trophy, Lady Deadpool Like. This takes us into the next level, which is in the tombs below, and how we got there? Well, the dog from earlier kind of screwed us over. In the tombs, amongst fighting a shit ton more enemies, we also find ourselves having to do tasks for Death herself, and one of those tasks is to take part in a carnival pirate shooting game. As we stand in the queue, we repeatedly press the option to wait, and this gives us the trophy, 
patience is a virtue. Before then, ace in the pirate shooting game until we reached the high score, and we got another trophy. This time, officially a carny. So with the carnival game complete, we had successfully finished one of the three tasks assigned to us by death. The second one was just a bit of killing and not much to it really, but the third task included us passing through a dark section where we had to stay within the light that death was emitting. While going through this darkness, there was a total of 11 chests, with some slightly off the path. I managed to get 10 with no issues, and luckily the 11th was just outside of the light at the end, and once I opened that last chest, I got the trophy, digging in the crates. With all three tasks completed, we had collected three totems for death. So once we placed the third totem on the pedestal, we had pretty much finished the level, albeit a couple of cutscenes, and we got the trophy, Poolus Vision, or however you pronounce it. Out of the tombs now, and we find ourselves back in Genosa, heading in a different direction. This time we're fighting our way through buildings more so than out in the open. While in one of these buildings I came across a bathroom and for collecting every item inside I got the trophy Spawn More Deadpool Lords. A little bit further ahead I then picked up a random miscellaneous trophy followed by a pretty cool trophy that may have taken me a fair few attempts. Firstly we found a random photocopier in a destroyed office block and for shooting it, we got the trophy PC Load Leather. Then, we come to a section where Deadpool breaches a set of doors and we have to kill all enemies inside before the slow motion runs out. And once we did this successfully, we got the trophy Icon Open Doors. The next trophy I unlocked was for simply finishing that level, which ended with us watching a cutscene where Deadpool gets on a bike and shoots himself out the building. We then have to interact with a sentinel hand to trigger another cutscene where Wolverine and the X-Babes are catching up to us. The trophy, JR's Big Adventure. We then move on to the last level of the game and this is freaking rough. I died so many times at so many different sections, so many that I completely gave up attempting a number of trophies that are tied to this specific level. We begin by jumping across floating platforms, take on a few enemies before rinsing and repeating a couple more times. We then start to make our way up the stairs trying to avoid falling between the gaps and fighting a ton of enemies more. When we eventually get to the top, we're greeted by three chunky boys, and these guys were such a pain in the arse. After defeating the chunky squad, we are then locked into numerous waves of differential enemies, some of which can kill you with a single hit, and we have to kill a decent number of them before unlocking the next checkpoint. So many attempts, only to fall flat on my arse, and wondering when will they stop coming for me. Eventually, I was able to persist and finish off all the enemies and reach the checkpoint, the bosses before the main boss. This fight against Arclight, Vertigo, Blockbuster and this random enemy wasn't too difficult to be honest. One tap Vertigo, take out the guy who wasn't invited and Arclight and then just finish off Blockbuster the same way as earlier in the game. This gave me a shit ton of DP, so while in the Mr. Sinister main boss fight, I upgraded all of Deadpool's character upgrades and got the trophy unbalanced. Then it was just a case of beating Mr. Sinister himself, or rather loads of his clones. These clones pack a punch and hurt if their attacks land. It took me a fair few attempts before realising how overpowered the momentum abilities are and that every so often I would get a prompt to press circle and if I was using specific weapons it would leave the clones dazed and open for an execution. Once the last clone is defeated the level is complete and we get the trophy a sinister smush. 
We then watch a cutscene where the real Mr. Sinister shows his power by overwhelming Wolverine and the X-Babes, all while Deadpool breaks the fourth wall and tells the player all about how the developers thought that we deserve all the glory while they do all the work. And with a simple click of the circle button, Deadpool goes to work on Mr. Sinister and this grants us two trophies for each of the difficulties. No DP, no madness. And no DP, no madness. Seriously, roll credits. We're done here. With the story now complete and the hardest difficulty chalked off, I felt like the end was in sight, and I started ticking off some of the miscellaneous trophies. Because I'm an absolute melon, I did however not follow the guide closely enough and had to replay some missions multiple times. The first one I went for was for going back to the prison level and I'm just completing the level without countering any attacks. For the trophy, so you've got some free time. The next one was a silly one, and all it required was to turn the dialogue slider down to zero in the options menu for the trophy, only when he stops breathing. And then, for getting a total of 15 kills with overcooked grenades, I got the trophy, pull the grenade, throw the pin. While still in the prison level, I then took on the trophy requirement of making it across the toxic river of sludge without falling in. Sounds simple enough, but if you fall in, you have to do the level from the start again. Reloading the checkpoint doesn't work. I should have got it on an attempt earlier, but a big enemy knocked me off a platform and into the sludge below. But thankfully, I managed it on the next attempt and got the trophy, fish out of water. The next two trophies were both on the first mission of the game, job one. First we had to get a combo higher than 40 before the elevators get locked down, which was quite easy, especially since returning after all the upgrades. And then we restarted the checkpoint and had to rush through the level until a specific boardroom within five minutes, and these trophies were in the lobby, comboing your dudes. And 49 in 5. Where do we go from here? Only one way to go. Up. On to the sewer level now for another three trophies. First up, during the arc light fight, I had to not get hit by any of her powered up slam attacks. Due to having almost everything upgraded at this point, this was a bit of a cakewalk, and I got the trophy. Catch me if you can. Then, during a short section where Vertigo is making Deadpool disorientated, we had to pull three switches which opens the path forward for us within 60 seconds for the trophy, Beer Goggles. And the third one, a personal favourite of mine, during the water slide section of the level just before you first meet Mr Sinister, I had to make my way down to the bottom without hitting any of the obstructions for the trophy. Hey you guys! We then moved on to the level of Genosa and get to the section where we meet Cable again. This time when he disappears, we begin to climb up the tower, but we start popping the balloons around the wheel of insanity machines and also shoot the cow flying around in the whirlwind. This trophy is apparently bugged, which makes this trophy name quite funny. This game is rigged. I then had to replay the mission again, as in between meeting Cable and climbing the Tower of Insanity, there is a section where you can get four stealth kills in this tower plaza. I got the trophy, remarkably quiet. To be honest, as you can tell from the last two trophies, rather than paying attention to the guide at this point, I was just playing the game following the trophy list on PlayStation, and the next trophy I got required me to head back to the prison level. 
I had to go through the entirety of the level until I was in the area where I have to sneak up on Mr. Sinister's clone and execute him. What I failed to do on my original playthrough, although I might not have even had all the weapons unlocked at this point, was to execute the guards in the room with each of the weapons. Once that was done, I got the trophy, silent and deadly. Back in the tombs for the next trophy, and similarly to some of the earlier ones, if I'd have just paid attention to the guide, I could have saved myself a hell of a lot of time. When meeting with death and being tasked with obtaining the three totems, I had to leave the carnival game until last. This gives Deadpool a pirate hat, and for simply finishing the level with that hat on, we got the trophy R rated. Then, the next five trophies all came on the final level of the game, but required a couple more playthroughs of the level. Firstly, for making it across all the floating debris, which took me a lot of attempts, I got the trophy Let's A Go. Let's -a go! For scoring a combo higher than 75 while making my way up the stairs in the same level, I got the trophy It's A Trap. I then restarted the level again and completed the whole level from start to finish without dying. Admittingly it was on the easy difficulty and even then it still got a bit ropey at times, but I got the trophy Suck It Wolverine. I restarted the level yet again, this time getting to the stairs section and killing myself 10 times. You can have the enemies kill you too for the trophy. You've been coal slaw turd. Eh, I was bored anyway. And then, in the same run, for completing the level using only swords and pistols, I got the trophy. I am Deadpool. The next trophy I tackled was for getting a 300 hit combo, and all the guides suggested the three chunky boys at the end of the last level. Beating those three, shooting an enemy in the distance to keep the combo going while the gates open up and more enemies roll out. I tried this around 40 times with the highest combo I got being 286. So I cheesed it. During the Genosa level there is a section where a couple of chunky boys come out and a smaller enemy who grants a shield to all enemies nearby. So I jumped semi out of bounds and got this one for free. Sorry, not sorry. The trophy, be like Joe. I'd purposely not upgraded all my weapons to try and help with the combo trophy, but with that one now out the way, I upgraded them all to the max for the trophy Drunk on Power. And finally, for the main levels, I had to go back to Genosa for like the fifth time. This time, I got to make it to the section where we meet Cable using only the hammers and the pulse rifle for the trophy, shall I, shan't I? Three trophies left now and all of these are in the challenges mode. These modes have to be completed on bronze and silver difficulty in order to unlock the gold difficulty. I then had to complete an entire wave on a gold tier challenge without dropping my combo for the trophy cold blooded Survive that. You earned some loot. Then I had to complete a silver or gold tier challenge while countering at least 25 times for the trophy Shields Up. And lastly, I had to complete five gold challenges for the trophy Gold Rush. And with this being my last trophy, I earned the Deadpool Platinum. Whoop, whoop. See the bars on the yeah. I love you!